Hello, party people! What's up? These intros are just, they're, they're really getting to me at this point. <laughs> Alright guys, so today's video I'm really like uneasy about. I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, so today I'm gonna attempt a self photo shoot. I'm just gonna start getting ready while I'm talking because, um, why not, right? So today I'm gonna be attempting a self photo shoot. And you're like, Franny, a self photo shoot? What in the world do you mean? Well, let me tell you. I was on Instagram and I was just scrolling through a million people's Instagrams just you know you know like when you like find someone and then you find someone else and then you find someone else and then you find someone else you end up in like a black hole yeah that's what I did I was on someone's Instagram it was like oh my god a lot of these people are doing self shoots and I was like okay how are they doing that so I'm assuming they have like backdrops and like they're probably taking these photos on their iPhone which I'm doing because I don't know I'm not that high-tech where I know how to do a self camera shot with a camera I also bought a really cute dress for the shoot don't know how it's gonna look on camera but I might not end up even using it because if it looks heinous then I'm gonna change yeah I'm really excited I want to do like cute little pigtails on my hair. I just want to do something different. So I decided I wanted to do a self shoot because I have like no good content. The content that I post all the time is just either me taking selfie mirrors. Selfie mirrors. <laughs> I don't think that's what it's called. Selfies in a mirror like with the camera or with my phone and it's just hard because it's hard like booking shoots with photographers right now it's hard just doing anything of that sort this could be either the worst or best decision of my life also today's Anne Marie's birthday so after I'm done doing this self shoot I'm probably gonna try and take photos of her too oh let me explain what I'm doing for my backdrop you know makeshift backdrop so I bought a king sized bed sheet from Target it was like $20 which is nice and um, I don't know if y'all know but I have probably the biggest mirror known to mankind. I'm gonna put the big sheet over the mirror and then I'm gonna throw the other sheet on the ground and I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna set up my studio lights down there. I'm gonna go ham basically. I'm just gonna go F it, whatever. And I think a lot of it has to do with the editing. Like if your photo editing skills are bomb, then it probably will come out good. So the vibe I wanna go for is like just a vintage -y type of vibe, so. But I was like, I want cool photos. And if this works, guys, I'm going to always take photos. My skin has been doing so much better now because I started taking my vitamins again and I stopped taking them because I was like, oh cool, my acne's gone. I don't need to take them anymore. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. My skin needs them to thrive. So I started super dosing again on my pantyothenic acid pills. Yeah, it's been helping a lot. I don't know why. I guess I just gotta deal with it and figure it out and hope for the best that my skin figures it out one day. Guys, I literally, when I tell you my face was so pale, let me show you what I used to bronze up my face a little bit because I couldn't handle it anymore. I used this Isle of Paradise self tanning drop, this like oil for your face or for your body. All you have to do is literally put three drops in your moisturizer. It just bronzes up your face in a couple of hours. So I did that one, one night and I woke up the next morning with like a bronzy face. It looks kind of blotchy at first because my skin's a little dry. But then like once you like wash it off one or two times like I finally had like a bronze on my face Because I always have sunscreen on my face is like see-through even in the summertime It is kind of tan But it's always much lighter than my body because I'm a freak about my face sometimes and I don't like I like being in the sun But I always just have to have sunscreen on guys I don't know if the lighting's ass or not like it's like it looks like really I look really tan in the camera But I have like super warm lights up here and then I have like a ring light behind me But it's funny. I feel like lighting's always an issue for me because my apartment is it's like spacious but it's not it's weird like some things fit and then some things don't fit and I'm like well I need to figure it out sometimes I don't have room for enough lighting um okay so actually I normally put on a blush from Tarte but I got this new one from Bare Minerals it's called Bounce and Blur Mauve Sunrise it's this like sparkly like it's like a berry like it reminds me of they just like threw some strawberries blackberries and like raspberries together and it gave you this blush and I'm kind of here for it. it has a little bit of a sparkle so let's see this I hate it on the screen I don't have time to be experimenting this much honestly okay wait I'm not mad about it it's weird because when I put a lot of blush on it disappears by the end of the time I'm done with my makeup I'm just contour cuz I'm gonna be snatched and I go in with the highlighter because I want to be blinging guys you know what kind of trend that I've kind of been into right now I was like confused at first but 
the last couple of months I've been so bad at is like using like brow gel and like sticking your eyebrows up. My eyebrows don't have that much hair where they stick up like a ton because I trim them. I do like that effect that gel gives. Well, I'm just filling them in right now, but I put gel over it and I like them being nice and dark. Like they give me more character, like a bold brow. I don't care though to make them like perfect looking. Like I'm really picky with my eyebrows and I don't care to like make them look like pristine. Even though they're very beautiful to look at, I don't have the patience and the time to do all that to myself. We're just gonna grab this brow gel and swipe up. Boom! I'm gonna do my eye makeup off camera because I'm gonna have to be like two inches away from the mirror. But once I'm done with my makeup completely, I'll come back and I'm gonna do my hair for y'all. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and I'm snatched. I'm back and I'm snatched. I did like an eyeliner situation but with eyeshadow so it's not too aggressive. It's like light still but I like how it looks. Still gives me a little oomph. Did something to my lips so I don't look too crusty dusty on the lips. Okay, so for my hair, I really for some reason wanted to do like pigtails of some sort. So I have these little clear scrunchies. So maybe if I just like... I don't know how to do a hair. Do I grab more? I don't know. Actually, no. Okay, looks good. Okay. Oh, great. I'm nodding my hair. I'm gonna have to cut these little O. <gasps> I'm gonna scream. Oh my God. I just nodded the crap out of my hair. Okay, I'm not mad. I just ripped my hair out. Okay, cool. That's cute. I'm not mad at it at all. Okay, here we go. Part two. Freaking A. Okay, no. This is, this is okay. Wait, does that look weird? <gasps> Should I split it down the middle? Is that gonna even look weirder? Ew, I don't like it down the middle. Oh my God. I'm not even looking because I don't want to see the knots forming. It's not even. I'll be right back. Okay, give me one second. Okay guys, so I did something with my hair. I don't know what. I literally put like these two little scrunchies, like little clear scrunchy things in and did these like two weird little ponies. And that's all I got. I literally don't even know if I like it, but I'm gonna leave it in for whatever I'm trying to do. And if I hate it, I will rip them out of my head. <laughs> oh, I wanna show you the dress first. I will show you, like obviously when I put it on, I'm gonna be like, here it is, but I just wanna show it to you. This was really spontaneous. I was literally gonna shoot in like a white tank and like nothing, like well in something, but like super basic. But then Anne Marie found this at Urban and it was like, you need to do it in this. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. This is the dress. It's a really pretty like florally looking dress. It's like the colors are very muted and pastel-y, super cute. And it's long too, so it's like a longer dress. It goes down to like my shins. This is the dress I'm gonna wear. I was literally, like I said, gonna wear like a tank and like jeans or something for the pictures, but I was like, let me just try and be creative. If the dress isn't working, then I'm gonna change. But I think it will work. I just gotta like work the camera. So I'm using my iPhone, so like it's gonna be nothing crazy, but I feel like since I will be using my phone, I'll be able to like navigate a little better around it type of situation. But yeah guys, so here's my hair. I don't know how I feel about it, but you know what? I'm just gonna work with it. So here I go, trying to be a photographer slash model, all in one. <laughs> I'm like not mad about it at all. It's so cute. I'm like looking in the mirror's cover. This is the vibe I was going for and then I put on like this like pearl looking necklace with a gold necklace and some hoops. I have my phone set up and I'm just gonna start posing so don't make fun of me, okay? Okay guys, I have to have at least one photo to edit for you guys. There's no way that I don't. So I'm gonna look for a photo. Guys, I'm sweating. <sighs> All right guys, so as you can see, I popped it up on the screen just so y'all can see what I'm doing. This is the one shot 
that I like, I think, the most. I'm on this app called Pixar. I'm just like looking at different filters. Maybe if it's like super, this is like super faded, that could be kind of cool. I think I just, ooh, it's kind of cool. The 1995 filter. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out and I'll be right back because I actually have no idea now what to do. All right, guys. I figured it out. I put some like yellow filter on it, super just trying to make it vintagey, a little grain. And then I'm putting the glitch effect on it because I want it to just look cooler. So this is what it looked like originally before the glitch effect, as you can see. And then when I let go, it kind of like hurts my eyes a little bit, but it's fine. Like it's such, the, it's like the most subtle thing ever. I think that was kind of successful. Like that looks so cool to me. I'm so excited. Guys, I did a self shoot. I did something. Hire me to be your photographer, people. All right guys, well, um, I attempted a photo shoot and I think I was kind of successful. Honestly, I feel like a lot of it has to do with the editing. The editing makes a big difference on the filter, the grain, you know, any kind of effects that make it look vintagey or whatever whatever style you want. I always edit off my phone. I don't have Photoshop. I don't even know how to use Photoshop. Well, I use Pixar and Visco. So those are the two that I normally use. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I got a little done up. Probably gonna take these pigtails out of my head because they hurt already. And um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.